a uh, few of the specialty uh, security frameworks. Um, Octave uh, from uh, Carnegie Mellon University is a, uh, a risk management framework. Uh, very complete, um, very good. Uh, do not use this unless you are a company of at least 5,000 employees. This is, uh, it requires um, a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of resources. Uh, it does do a very, very good job of, of taking on uh, risk management, but um, the full octave method is definitely, um, uh, it, it requires work. Um, and so you've got a, a kind of a, a, a risk assessment to make, you know, how much do you need risk assessment? How, how much uh, uh, effort uh, do you need to put into it in order to get a, uh, uh, you know, a, a good result? And, and how much risk are you uh, at? How much do you need to know about your level of risk? in in that regard uh fortunately they have developed a uh a kind of a subsetting of it um that is much better for uh smaller enterprises and that is known as allegra uh there uh you know is is definitely uh value in in getting that and and using that um now a number of um, areas in regard to quality do have uh, a lot of benefit in regard to information security uh, as, you know, per SPAS law, um, you know, a system is secure if it does what it's supposed to, a, um, you know, and, and quality is definitely a part of that. So we've got... Um, Total quality management. Uh, we've got the Six Sigma process. Uh, sigma being uh, a measurement of you know how far you are down the uh, bell curve on the graph, and you know going out Six Sigma uh, covers pretty much everything. Um, ISO 9000. As I say, um, a standard more for documenting what you're doing about security, uh, how uh, much of an effort you are putting into security. Um, and, and so uh, that, you know, th there is always a point to writing things down, to, to documenting what it is that you are doing and, and doing it in a standard form so that you are following the same pattern that other people are, so that you don't miss things that you might miss if you're just you know, writing up a, a document about quality yourself. Um, so, um, oh, uh, Walter Deeming, um, a, uh, a, a specialist in, in quality, it really, in a sense, the father of uh, quality. Uh, very, very interesting story um, was uh, with the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture, seconded to um, Japan in the restoration following um, World War II, um, had a great success in uh, assisting uh, companies uh, uh, packaging food um, and, uh, you know, dealing with uh, quality in, in that regard. Um, that um, spread to other companies in Japan, and that eventually, by the you know 60s and 70s, was was definitely um, making a change in in the quality of products, and and of course the productivity uh, coming out of Japanese uh, companies at that time, um, overtaking American. Uh, companies who were not doing the same thing. And so uh, American companies were importing uh, uh, Japanese methods, which were originally developed by an American, um, interestingly enough. So he, uh, he uh, would uh, provide um, uh, seminars uh, 
to uh, uh, business leaders in the United States and you know CEOs of, of major corporations would be killing to get a, a spot in these seminars. Um, and very interestingly, uh, one of the things that he would say was, um, you people think you know something about management because you uh, are successful. Your companies are successful. Um, you are in the United States um, coming out of a world war. Um, the uh, economic impacts of, of such a situation um, mean that basically you would succeed regardless of what you did. You don't know actually anything about management. And uh, unfortunately, in many cases, that was true. Um, so very... Uh, very interesting stuff, but um, you know some of those lessons uh, really should be taken to heart and and as I say, you know quality looking at quality can do things for security um, a couple of others um, the uh, uh, gdpr um, as mentioned uh, you know we 'll talk about this in law investigation and uh, ethics, but the um, uh, the issues of privacy there. Um, but the uh, fact of the the accountability uh, section of that uh, now coming up with another 135 checklist um, uh, is you know something always always useful. Uh, but you know, looking in terms of privacy does. Um, tend to get you thinking about uh, the value of information classification, uh, those types of issues, which are all beneficial to information security in, in any way. Um, the uh, Forum on Information and Democracy, interesting institution. They've got some uh, uh, stuff that you might be uh, good to look at. Um, and Infodemics. Um, uh, an interesting group looking at uh, social media and some very interesting uh, work out of there if you would like to, uh, to look at it, although only just the, the very beginnings.